friends, welcome to the course of Coding Writer for RESTful API Development using Silt Authentication. Inside this video, we'll discuss about model-based query methods. Inside the last video, we have seen all about the concept of insert a statement, update a student, delete a student, select a statements by using our query builder methods. Now this time, we'll include the concept of model and see that how to perform database operations using model object. Get back to editor. So here we have sites.php which is a controller file and here we have routes.php. So we want to perform all about our database operations with this students table. So we want a model and that model will be associated with this specific table. So as we know that to create a model, we'll use spark CLI command and make model method means make model command. So once we use make model command, it will create a model and store inside this app means inside app folder. And here inside this we can see here we have models folder. So a student's model will be created inside this model directory. Go to console. I will close this development server. And let's type php spark, press enter. It will provide all about the command list. Go to generators. Now here we can see make model. Look at its single line description. This command will generate a new model file. So I will use make model command to generate all about our student model. So here let's say php spark make model and I will pass a student and make sure whenever you create any model class name, the class name should be singular. So as we know that here we have the table name as a students, but we need to create student as a model name. So I am passing a student here and also I will add one more suffix flag. So automatically when we hit enter button, it will create student model.php. Press enter. So we can see student model.php has been created inside this models folder. Go to editor, go inside models folder, student model.php. So here we can see that table, which is a protected variable, and this table is pointing to students table. So if we create any object of this student model class, that object will go and perform all the operations with this students table. Now go here inside this allot fields. Here inside this array, we need to pass all the column names what we have inside our students table. And in your case, suppose if the, if the table name is something called tbl underscore or something wp underscore. So in that case, you need to change this value manually. So in this case, we have students table only. So leave it as the exact value. Go inside this allot fields and as we know that to create any student and insert inside this table, we want the values for this name, email and phone number. So all these columns where we need value, we need to specify inside this allot fields. So let's say name, email and here we have phone. All we have done with this model class. Now next, we need to load this model inside our controller. So go here. Let's say use student model. As we can see, now we have loaded this model class inside this controller. This is all about a namespace which is loading student model from app and models folder. Go here. Now let's define our construct method first. So public function construct. Let's define a variable here. So private. Let's say student object. And what I will do with this variable, let's say this student object equals to new student model. So inside this variable, this is not a normal variable here. It's a model object. And by the help of this model object, we will perform all about the operations of insert, update, delete and select. Let's see our first operation that is for insert student. So here let's say public function insert student 
and here inside this method we'll call this object and before that we want to insert this data set so data let's say name email phone number and after creating this data set now we will use let's say this student object and we will call insert method look at intellisense it is asking for data so here we have the data put here let's wrap inside if else block so that it will return a proper response so echo let's stay within s3 tag student created otherwise inside this else block i will copy the same response but this time let's say failed to create student if you save this change go to routes.php so that we can create a route of this method let's copy this route put it here let's add hyphen student it will call sites controller and from sites controller the method will call call insert student save this change copy this route go here and put a forward slash add hyphen student press enter and i think that we need to start development server so php spark serve press enter back to browser let's reload this page and as we can see student created back table go and reload now as we can see that inside this student's table now we have one more row that is with the fourth number id so successfully by the help of this model object now we have done all about insert method and the pattern of using insert method is same as what we had seen inside query builder method now let's see all about update method so public function update student and we have some mistake inside this public spelling so it will be public go here so for update operation we need two values that is first student id and second the updated data so student id equals to let's say we want to update this third number id so student id equals to three and we want updated data so let's say that I want to update only the phone number value and right after this data let's say this student object and we will call update method look at intellisense the first value we need to pass the id it means the condition and the second we need to pass the data so here let's make an array and here let's id equal to student id and inside second value of this update method we need to pass the updated data and to wrap inside this if else block so inside if block we have the complete statement and inside else block it means it has failed to update student so i will copy put it here so failed to update student put here student updated if i save this change go inside routes.php i will copy this route put here instead of add let's say update and it will call update student method let's copy this url go here I will go and replace with this update hyphen student so when we hit this url it will call this update student method and this method is going to update the student id 3 with this phone value back to browser so here let's press enter we can see student updated just go and reload our table so successfully as we can see that phone number now updated 
So this is all about choosing update statement. Now let's see for delete statement. So here let's say public function delete student and inside this method we want our student ID. So let's say that we are interested to delete this fourth number ID. I am passing here 4 and let's say this student object and I will call delete method. Look at IntelliSense, we need to pass our ID value. So here either we can pass into an array format or as simple as that we need to pass only the variable. Let's wrap inside this if else block. So inside if here it's a echo student deleted. Here inside this else block I will copy put it here let's say student deleted copy this else block message paste it here fail to delete student go back to routes.php let's copy this line put it here so this will be delete hyphen student I will copy the method name and put it here save this change I will copy this URL value go here so delete hyphen student when we press enter it will go and delete our fourth number id value press enter student deleted just go and reload this page now as you can see that fourth number id now deleted now let's see our final statement that is all about to selecting data so here let's say public function let's say get students student students equals to let's say this student object and I will call find all method this method is useful when we want to fetch all the data from a table so here we are selecting all the students and putting inside this variable so let's print that so echo preformatting tag let's say print r and here let's say students if I save this change, go here inside routes.php. I will create one more route and let's say this time it will be something like students and from sites controller it will call cat students. If I save this change, go here. Let's remove that students plus enter. Now as you can see that we are getting an array of arrays. So here this is all about our first student and here we have the second student. Now let's say that we want to select only this third number id. So in that case what I will do go here. So instead of calling find all method I will call only find. So copy this line put it here. Let's comment this line so I will call find and if I pass here let's say 3 it means we want to actually select only the third number row so here we have passed only the primary key value so once we pass that it will select only that student let's reload that now we can see we are getting only the third number id value but let's say that on the basis of email value if we want to select any student so what we have to do let's uncomment this line let's sorry not uncomment let's comment this line and here let's say this student object and i will call where method create an array let's say email and this will be our email value not here this will be our email value put it here and we will use get method what we had used inside query builder methods and finally let's say get row array if we save this change and let's copy this variable put it here and this time we are selecting only a single student so it will be a student paste it here save this change go and reload now we can see that we are getting only a single student value 
So either we can use this primary key method by using find method, find all method to get all the data and by using the concatenation of where method get get row array to get only a single string data. So successfully, by the help of this video, now we understood all about how to use model based query methods to query our database. So inside next videos, we'll see some more different concepts. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.